But we saw the trend coming and recognised it early. 2013, we saw an increase with a number of manufacturers in rimless technology. And just uh, the recent ish, in 2015, we saw a majority of manufacturers had some form of rimless flushing technology. When we looked at what we could do to, in rimless, there was a number of options we could have taken. We knew we had to do a lot of work to bring in line with our original Smart Flush and performance platform. And to do that, we had to learn all the parameters around making that brimless toilet flush effectively. It was pretty immediate to see what the benefits to the consumer were going to be. There was a clear message there as far as hygiene and the ease of cleaning the product. What we saw in some of those early companies to adopt the technology was that they weren't really functioning as well as a standard box rim pan. The performance criteria for a lot of those European pans just isn't as high as ours. The water coming into the pan wasn't coming with as much force. We saw quite clearly that it was a technology, if it was to be implemented in Australia, we had to take it a lot further. When I first start a project like this, my first question to Steve is, okay, what do you want? How do you want it to perform? What do you want to compare it to? All these questions have to be asked up front because at the end of the day, you want to hit a mark, but you need to know what that mark is. We could have gone with a design with a half-closed rim, but Steve's the one who says, no, I want the design which is fully opened. The purpose of that is it's more hygienic to clean. You can clean the whole bowl down. You've got nowhere for bacteria to stay. That was really challenging because the water in a rim reacts one way. The water in the clean flush, which has no rim at all, reacts completely different. But you still have to make it past the standards. So that was difficult. Steve's always maintained a high criteria for any development and it always makes the job harder, but we end up with a better result at the end. It was noted that quite a few of the competitive products had a low water height, which meant that there was a fair distance which was unwashed on the bowl rim. The chrome of design, we lifted that water level up so that we were washing down more of the bowl surface, ensuring we got a cleaner flush. So we went from prototypes built on our prototyping machine, which were nice and consistent, the same size every time, to moving into ceramic, which had variability, just as part of the manufacturing process. That was the key thing for us, was to make sure that we had a consistent flush. We got pretty good early results. One issue we had was that we couldn't accurately control the water in the front of the bowl. And if you don't control the water accurately in the front, then you've got issues with the performance of the pan flushing and clearing the waste because you're not directing the water where it should be going. That's why we spent so much time getting it right in the laboratory. There was no shortcut with this product. To get it to function properly, we had to learn a lot along the way um, and had to really put a lot of energy into understanding and controlling that water. By adding extra force into our flush, we had to rethink some of the fundamentals of that technology to get it function a bit better. Our team was quite instrumental in developing the bump at the front of the product, which is where our patent on that technology now lies. To get the performance and consistency we wanted, we had to put the flow balancer at the front of the pan. So what it allowed is when the water collided, it hit the groove first before it hit itself and then allowed the water to balance itself out so that when it had that tail, it was always hitting the same position in the sump area. I think the beauty of what we've done here is this very simple solution, but very difficult to achieve. It was a very rewarding solution, this one, because it was the, um, the light bulb moment when we, when we got it. And then we were able to refine it and get it better. We had great technology here and, and we wanted to make this um, better than Smart Flush if we could. So I think we've achieved that. Clean Flush is the next step. It's the next generation. The days of rims are, um, are numbered, I think. We're going to move into the next generation of products and this is going to lead it in toilets.